Welcome back to Day R Survival. I am excited to play today because now we just left Leningrad. We are in Twer. Is that how you guys pronounce it? I checked the dictionary pronunciation and it says Twer. It's a little rolling in your R's. Anyways, let's continue on. Let's get the daily reward. All right, I am getting the whiskey. All right, I got like what, around mm, 68 more to get the car? <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get the Black Volga, but who knows, maybe I will. Maybe eventually, all right. Let's continue on. We gotta go inside this survivor's base. Ooh, we leveled up. All right, so let's see what we can get here. Hmm. Alcohol does not have any negative effects. But you are addicted to it forever. Nope. Not doing that. Hmm. Damage versus mutant? No. How about the gas mask durability? That's right. The gas mask. I want that instead. Because I do use a lot of... Ooh. We got some new items to craft. Because, yeah, I, I do a lot of looting. And so... You know, I'm going to need that gas mass durability. All right, so I can make... I can make the ghillie suit. Hmm. Dude, that sounds good. 200 armor, dodge chance, 25%, radiation. But uh, my highly armor seems pretty cool, though. But you know what? This seems way better. But right now, can we actually make... The tent? Is that possible? We'll do it after. Alright, let's go into the survivor base. I can't believe it. After so many days on my own, after all my endless searching, a hair's breath away from death, I made it. On the outskirts of Twer, I discovered signs of life in an intact apartment block. It was light of a kerosene lamp in a window, and someone had hung laundry out to dry on her third floor balcony. When I spotted the two little kids carrying buckets away from the river, I felt a lump form in my throat. There are survivors. That means my family could be alive too. All right, let's ask the locals about Svetlana. After spotting me, the boys ran and hid in the building entrance. A minute later, three men with guns came out. One of them shouted for me to drop my weapon and walked toward them with my hands up. I did it, without hesitating. The men searched me thoroughly, and only then did they lower their guns. I asked about Svetlana. After a quick glance around, they replied that Svetlana was on the third floor. I walked past them, feeling their weary eyes on me. In apartment 11, a thin, dark-haired woman of about 30 sat writing at a table. She was wearing an old white robe. Like the men, she looked haggard. Hello! The woman raised her sad gray eyes to mine and smiled warmly. Hi, hello. We haven't seen any new faces in a little while. So, who are you? Where did you come from? Who am I? A drifter. I came from the north. Really? The woman is astonished. We thought there was no one left up there. Well, come in. Make yourself comfortable. I'm Svetlana, by the way. Swe Svetlana from Leningrad? Right? You're the person who invented the cure for the epidemic, who was captured by bandits, and who escaped and made it all the way there, here, to Twir, on foot? Svetlana frowned. Yes, that's right. But how do you know all this? I was looking for you. I found your recorder in Leningrad. I was also in Novgorod at the Bannon's base. All right, but why were you looking for me? I was looking for survivors, people who could tell me the truth about what happened back in 1984. You see, I don't remember anything. I've even forgotten my own name. You don't remember anything? What happened? That's what I'm telling you. I don't know. I woke up in Nikel. I didn't know who I was, where I was from, or how I got there. 
and there were just rotting corpses and ruins all around me. I started searching for answers, but people who could explain it all. And you're the first person I've met who could do that. Svetlana looked at me with genuine sympathy. That's awful. It's a miracle you made it this far. She smiled kindly. But that's all behind you now. We're, we'll take care of you. We'll give you a room and feed you. And little by little, your memories will come back. I'm sure of it. Svetlana, I... Uh, but you have to work for the good of the collective. Our commune is small. We live from hand to mouth, so we can use... An extra body to help out. Svetlana, thank you. Thank you for the offer, but I can't stay here with you all. Svetlana was silent. Then she stood and walked to the window. Why not? I have a wife and a daughter. I don't know where they are, but I'm convinced they're alive and waiting for me. I have to find them. Svetlana turned away. Look out the window. It's a wasteland. First the epidemic, then the nuclear war. The earth died. You can't survive out there. Radiation, predators, crazy people with nothing left to lose, bandits. You won't find anyone out there. But if you go, you won't be coming back. We won't try to hold you here, but just think for a second. You're right. But I have to. I can't abandon my family. And after that, well, there's probably other settlements. The whole union can't have died off. Maybe there are survivors in the south, beyond the Urals. Maybe they are. We don't know. No one has ever come from there. And we're not leaving the Twer outskirts. We barely have enough food. But there are fewer predators here. And who said that... Things were better in the other parts. You need things. You need to think straight and stay. Svetlana, everything you're saying is true, but if you were in my place, wouldn't you still go and look for your family? No matter how dangerous it was. Svetlana looked mournfully at me. You know, when I got here, I tried to find my relative too and other survivors. I searched for a way to get in touch with my colleagues to find out more about this dang epidemic, about the bombing. I traveled from town to town until I ran out of gas, but it was all for nothing. All for my efforts went up in smoke. I'm sorry about that, and I know that I've only got a slim chance, but it is a chance. I'm going to search if I have to. I'll go beyond the Euros to other countries. Svetlana stared into my eyes for a long time and then shifted her gaze. I fought as long as I could too. I believed that we could still do something, still right what had gone wrong. But aren't you doing something? You're wearing a doctor's coat. You treat people. You haven't given up. And did you give up when the bandits took you prisoners? No, you poisoned them even though you risk your own life to do it. Svetlana gripped her head with her hands. You don't understand? I probably don't. Anyway, it was good to meet you, Svetlana. I hope, you, I hope to see you again someday. All right, we are leaving. The survivor found refuge in a gray five-story building on the riverbank. Two dozen people live here without heating or running water. They grow potatoes and cabbages and carrots in the small patches around the buildings. And the wasteland starts just beyond the rotting wooden fence. Alright, so let's go to the infirmary. The door to Svetlana's room is shut, but it sounds like she's in. I could knock, but I think that she just wants to be alone for a while. Alright, let's look around and talk to the locals. The Tweer settlement is a miserable enough place, but none of these inhabitants complained. They were warm and friendly and happily answered my questions. I learned that the base leader is somebody called Evgeny, an agriculturist, and that a doctor called Svetlana 
looks at the inhabitants' hell. Alright, let's go to the bunkhouse. Hello, traveler. Would you like to have a rest? Uh, no, because you're going to cost me some money. No, I'm not going to stay. I, I guess we got to leave. I right, note number 32. Did we go here? On the, other, on the one hand, Svetlana is right. What's the point of risking my life if the chances are so minuscule? It would be better to stay in the camp and live out the rest of my days here. That would be rational. But on the other hand, it is the rational choice always the best one. I'm going to look for Galaya and Sasha. But where? I don't have a single lead. I think I'll have to keep wandering for now. I need to get some sleep. I've got enough day ahead. You need to go to sleep in the Twir settlement. What? I need to go. I need to go to sleep then, huh? Well then, if it's sleep you want, sleep it is. When I woke up, Svetlana was standing next to me. She was looking at me intently, nervously chewing her lips. Have you changed your, your mind? Any chance you'll stay? No, I have to get going. Svetlana nodded slowly. My answer hadn't surprised her, but why was she so anxious? I'm sorry for you, Drifter. People like you are the first to die. People who love, who take risks to save others. I thought all the people like you died out back in 84. That's the only one left were bandits and people like me. The ones who stopped caring altogether. Sorry, Svetlana, but you don't look like somebody who stopped caring. You're trying to save me, after all. Svetlana smiled strangely. What of it? I'm not risking anything. Fine. Dang you. If you want to leave, leave. But if you're going anyway... She paused to think, choosing her words. Yeah, I'm listening. Svetlana lowers her voice as though she is afraid of being overheard. There's one thing you could do. I started it a long time ago, but I never finished it. I couldn't. I gave up halfway. Svetlana makes a, a wry face. But could you do it? Okay, and what's the thing? I need to uncover the truth. The truth about the catastrophe. I don't get it. What else is there to uncover? You know everything. The epidemic broke out. Then there was a nuclear war. You read my diary, didn't you? On one of the pages I lost, I wrote down a strange idea. I still don't know how I th didn't think of it sooner. But this idea, it keeps me awake at night. I don't follow. Spit London speaks even more quietly. The epidemic. The epidemic broke out at the same time in different cities at opposite ends of the USSR. No virus in history has ever spread like that. A disease can always be localized. You can set it up, quarantines, take preventative measures. At least you can try. But not with this disease. I checked it. The virus attacked everyone and everywhere simultaneously. There was no way of stopping it. It sounds crazy, but could you... Could someone have deliberately started the epidemic, infecting people in different cities at the same time? Svetlana, this is crazy. Why would... Who would want to do that? And what would they get out of it? I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out since I was held prisoner by the bandits. I tried to find a rational explanation. And here, outside Twer, I've asked the other refugees. I looked through newspapers and stories of all the diseases. Svetlana, even if you're right, if the epidemic is a man-made, even if it's some kind of conspiracy, how can you ever get to the truth? So many years have passed. It's madness. Svetlana jumps up and looked at me with a strange fury in her eyes. I know that! But... It's no more madness that's going out into the wasteland to search for your family. Svetlana calms down and lowers her voice again. 
Then again, we do still know something. The first lethal outbreaks were dated to September 2nd and 3rd. Taking the incubation period into account, I think those people were infected around August 17 and 19. That means August 17. Hang on, hang on. I've seen that date somewhere before. She also went on the telegram with the dead man in Novgorod. Activate day R on August 17 as instructed. What's this? Where did you get it? In Novgorod, from a body, but there's more. I have a spray can somewhere that I could that I found in Petrozavorsk. It's marked day R too. Do you know what it means? No, I don't know. But I think I've heard the name before from my father when he visited the institute. He spoke to someone on the phone and mentioned this day R. I asked him what it meant, but he just brushed it off with a joke. But I made a point to remember it. Interesting. Who's your father? He was a microbiologist, one of the best in the country. He worked in Moscow at the Institute of Virology. That was the last time I saw him. He died of heart attack in June of 1984. My mother told me over the phone. I didn't even get the chance to say goodbye. I didn't even, I didn't even go to the funeral. I was on bed rest with tonsillitis. At the Institute of Virology, you say? In Moscow? Since this is my only lead, it looks like I'm going to Moscow. Solana held her breath. So you agree to help me? Hmm. I'll try, but I won't promise anything. My main priority is finding my wife and daughter. I understand, but you have to understand me. I don't have any close relatives left, and no one needs the cure for the disease anymore. What I do have left? Survival. My goal is in life is to live just a little bit longer, but I'm already sick of this existence. But we can do one thing. Find the truth. Find out who is responsible for killing millions of people and for turning our country, maybe even the world, into a wasteland and find out why they did it. This is important, isn't it? Not just for me, but for all of us. I know you don't have to do it. All I can do is ask and offer a reward. All right, I'll see what I can do. I'll go and get ready to go to head out. Will you wait a little longer? Svetlana, this is a bad idea. The wasteland is too dangerous for somebody who isn't prepared. I can't protect you, and you'll be leaving the people here without a doctor. It's better if you stay. Are you sure? I'm sure. All right, I guess we are going to leave. We're going to Russia in Moscow, the fallen capital of Russia. All right, but, man, before we actually leave, we need to investigate Twitter, right? We need to go looking around, you know. I want to see what's up here. Ooh, all right, all right, all right. There's a lot of radiation, actually. Hmm. It is a big radiation. Should I take some pills? You know what? I'm going to take some, some pills. So that I may search in uh, solitude. Alright, you know what? Let's get that. I want to get that book. The dusty book so we can get some more experience. Before we go to Moscow. There we go. What else here? Oh, we got some more tea. Heck yeah. And we get to watch some more advertisement. Alright, we get some free stuff. That's the way they they get for us to watch those um, advertisements. All right, let's watch some advertisements. All right, we are done watching it. Man, sweat Lana. Ooh, we got plastic explosive. You know, if I were him in real life, I probably would have just settled down and stayed with her, you know? It seems like it's a good place to stay. And who knows, I might not be able to survive out there in the, in the wasteland with all the bannons and radiated animals and radiation I probably wouldn't have even survived right and just create a new family with Svetlana she seems like a beautiful smart 
young, a little bit, you know, angry lady, but it's a new life, new start, new beginning. I'd probably be really, really happy, you know, staying with her. All right, let's search the university. All right, we got some more pills. Not bad. Okay, let's see what is your story. Nothing. Oh, we got the chemistry set. Heck yeah. Should I use this? You know what? Might as well use that. Because we are on a timer. Especially with our radiation resistance thing. I need to get out of here. I don't want to be fighting you guys. You guys are too powerful. Okay. Let's continue on our search. My flashlight is out. <laughs> oh, thank God. Actually, you know what? I have batteries for it. Let's load that. All right. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Hmm, okay. We got some more good stuff here. Alright, we are done with that. Yeah, I would probably stay with Svetlana. I wouldn't even look for my family. I know that's probably kind of not a good mean, you know, very heartless. But, you know, it's the world is dead. And the past is dead. <laughs> I wouldn't even search for them. Alright, good. Oh, nothing left. No, okay, good. Yeah. Right, what's in here? Oh, some more gasoline. Alright, my radiation resistance is n is over. Alright, I need to make sure my radiation is okay. Alright, let's drink some more alcohol. Because in Russia, people think alcohol will reduce radiation. Which is not true, kids. Don't drink alcohol because it prevents radiation. It does not. Alright. Okay, we got all that. Well, you know what? Uh, I need to go back and gather up. I actually need some more water. Yeah, let's get some more water here. All right, we got 200 dirty water. That's good enough. Um, let's go back home and rest. And our next episode, I want to make some deoxifying potions so that we can start, you know, looting. We can start looking through all these houses without worrying about radiation. So, guys, thank you very much. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, don't forget to leave that like, comment, and um, I'll see you guys next time for more Day R Survival Online.